Good morning students. In this video, we are going to talk about the Shadow Lines by Amitam Ghosh, which is a winner of a Sahitya Academy Award 1988. The novel highlights the impact of historical events such as the Swadeshi Movement, the Second World War, Partition of India and communal rights of 1963-64 in Dhaka and Kolkata on the characters lives. The novel has two parts going away and coming home. But as the plot of this novel is a little complex, we will look the overall story of it rather than working individually on different parts. Alright, so the novel is a big one. Let's not waste time and quickly begin it. So we have a narrator who has a grandmother named Thama. Thama was born in Dhaka, Bangladesh in 1902. When Thama was young, her father and her uncle Jet Mushai started fighting. As a result, they divided. They shared their house in half with a wall between them. The two families stopped talking to each other. We have a sister of Thama named Maya Devi who marries Sahib. Shahib is the son of Justice Chandrasekhar Datta Choudhury. And Thama marries a man who works on the railroad. Unfortunately, Thama's husband dies. But Thama is a hardworking, mentally strong and has a lot of patience. She decides to become a teacher and declines all sorts of support from anyone. She is a bold lady. She has a son who gets married to a girl. And from these two, the narrator of the story is born. You see, the narrator is from a humble family. Her grandmother is Thama, a very hardworking woman. The narrator has never been outside Calcutta. Alright, so moving forward, when the partition happens in 1947, the East Bengal of India, today we know it as Bangladesh, is given to Pakistan. So this part of the country is known as East Pakistan. Yes, it was later Indira Gandhi that helped East Pakistan to get freedom. But before Indira Gandhi, it was under Pakistan. So after partition, Thama was not able to go back to her city Dhaka. But his uncle, Jet Mushai, still lives there in Dhaka. Alright, I hope this much is clear now. Now let's get into another plot and that is of Maya Devi. As you know that she is married to Shahib and they have three sons, Jatin, Tridib and Robi. Now what happens is that there is some medical operation of Shahib. So he along with Tridib goes to London for an operation. Tridib is 9 years old and they live in the house of Mrs. Price in London. Later in the novel we come to know that Mrs. Price has a daughter May and a son Nick. They lived there for a few years in London. But as World War II starts happening, they return to India. After returning, we come to know that Jatin gets married to a girl named Queen Victoria and they bore a child, a daughter named Ila. On the other hand, we have Tridib who develops a great influence on the narrator. Tridib is his uncle and often tells him the stories of war and the world. As I already mentioned, the narrator has never been out of Kolkata. He is fascinated by Tridib's stories of London. Tridib used to tell that the real world is that of imagination and the narrator listens to him patiently. Whereas Ila does not believe in Tridib's logic of imagination. Ila wants to roam the world then living it alone in imagination. So after a while Ila's family goes to London where she befriends Mrs. Price's son Nick. As the novel moves forward uh, we see that Ila gets into love affair with Nick. On the other hand, we reach the year 1959. Here, Tridip also gets into a sort of love affair with May. May tells him that she is coming to India to meet him. Moving forward, we have Thama who learns that her uncle Jet Moshai is around 90 years old and he is still alive. So Thama decides to take her uncle back from Dhaka to India. May, who is now in India, decides to go with Thama. Tridip also joins the duo. So three of them reach Dhaka to take her uncle back from the place to India. But suddenly what happens? Riots begin to happen in Dhaka. Things started getting worse and Jit Mushai dies in those riots. The shock comes when Tridib also dies in riots. Everyone was shocked hearing the news that Tridib died. Thama gets mentally disabled and the narrator gets numb too. After a few years, Thama also died. The narrator still has a lot of memories of his uncle Tridib, but he is unable to forget his uncle. He realizes that these borders make a difference in the minds of human beings too. As the time passes, he receives a news that Ila is going to marry Nick. The narrator is devastated. He has never been able to express his love for Ila. At Ila's wedding, the narrator drinks heavily and starts behaving weirdly. 
On seeing all this, May takes him to his home. The narrator uses derogatory terms for May. He blames it is just because of her that his uncle Tridip died. May does not say anything. And in the morning when the narrator wakes up, he feels sorry for his misbehavior and seeks apologies from May. Finally, after a while, when the narrator decides to leave for India, May tells that Tridib had saved her life and Dhamma's. Tridib risked his own life to death. It touches the narrator that how his uncle selflessly sacrificed his life to save others. Towards the end of the novel, we also come to know that Ela is not happy with Nick, as Nick is into other love affairs. And with this, we come to the end of this novel. If you found the video helpful and want me to make another video on a novel that you like the most, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates on English literature. That's it for this video. Thank you.